For centuries, science has searched for a way to identify liars. Current machines utilize special equipment that track physiological changes created by the increased stress lying causes in most of us. Test. One, two, three, Tom Wincher, a retired police captain, is an expert with the layered voice analyzer, which evaluates the pitch and modulation of the voice to determine one's emotional and psychological response to a question. We've been uh, running 95 to 98 percent in our um, ability to detect whether somebody is telling us the truth or not. Each of the participants is provided questions to ask John. Nobody knows the questions in advance. John is instructed to answer truthfully or to lie whenever he wants. I'm ready, guys. All right, John, answer this question for me, please. Have you ever bought condoms in a foreign country? Yes. John, have you ever used an alias? Yes. Have you performed before the Queen of England? Twice, actually. Oh, okay. First up on the machine side is Tom Wincher, who is analyzing the pitch and emotion in John's voice. John, when you were growing up, did you have a pet chicken named Howard? Yes, I did. Where did you keep your chicken? When he was little, it was in a cage, a smaller cage, and then we had to build the pen when it got bigger. What kind of a chicken was it? It was just a garden variety. It was a red rooster. Okay. Is your son's name Fillmore? No. What is your son's name? Jonathan. How old is Jonathan? He'll be two in April. Do you remember his birth date? April 4th. And now the final set of questions from Ray Lara operating the polygraph. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Yes. How fast were you going? About 20 over. Have you ever run a stop sign? Yes. Now it's time for the answers. John is released from the machine and the results are in the hands of the experts. 10 out of 25. 17 out of uh, 25. Oh, I, I did the same as you. Whoa, I'm impressed with myself. 17 out of 25. 16 out of 25. Now Tom, last but not least. 21 out of 25. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I was watching the body language, and John is a very dynamic person. Um, he's used to being in front of cameras under stress. And the body language that he was using, his eye axis and cues, everything were consistent with him telling the truth. And the software said, no, that he was not. It showed a great deal of stress inside, some cognitive stress, and a very imagine, a good imagination level. Then I just, I, I decided to go with what the software was telling me, and it was correct.